Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men, that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. Because ye have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. The more the Most High exposed the serpent seed, the more they suppress and change history to support their delusions. The serpent seed do not hit the snooze button when they see unity among the indigenous black people or anything that threaten their dominion in the beast system. The serpent seed act fast to shut down the threat or find ways to take over the movement to favor themselves. This has been the behavior of the serpent seed throughout history. The Most High is giving his people a front row view of how the kingdom of darkness and the serpent seed operate. If the indigenous people take the time to observe and allow the spirit of the Most High to reveal truth, they will begin to see the subtle ways the serpent seed operate. The scripture said, you will know them by their fruits. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. If their behavior does not match their words, that is a red flag. For many years, the serpent seed portrayed themselves as innocent, God-loving people. They created an image of self-righteous evangelicals that want to save the world. There are countless movies made about the great white hope saving everyone. When you examine these people and their history, the image they portray does not match their character. The serpent seed created a system that is supposed to benefit all people regardless of race, religion, sex, and the many other protected status the people are supposed to benefit from in the beast culture. There are laws against racism, discrimination for the people under the federal protected class. However, the indigenous black people are being violated every single day despite of the protection they should have from the protected class made available to all people. All the leaders in high places come from the other species of mankind. They are the ones controlling this world with Satan. Their people benefit greatly from the beast system while the indigenous black people do not. Because the indigenous people and many others are beginning to see the bias in the beast system, over the past few years, there's been a lot of conversations about the privilege certain people get, while many others do not have the same luxury. Despite of the increased conversation about the special privilege, so far, no solutions. If their behavior does not match what they say, they are not being honest with you. A person's behavior reveal more than the words they speak. That is why the scripture said, you will know a person by their fruits. The scripture also said to test their spirit to see if they are of the most high. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Testing their spirit is simply giving a person enough time to reveal to you their true character. A person can only pretend but for a short amount of time. The serpent seed has been letting the indigenous black people know who they are. The indigenous people have a hard time believing them. The indigenous black people refuse to accept. They rather believe the fairy tales. The kingdom of darkness and the serpent seed is changing and manipulating our perception based on the behavior and reaction of the indigenous black people. If they see black people are on one accord or the indigenous people can see the things they have been hiding in plain sight, they are quick to change definitions, locations, and history to cause confusion. The scripture said the Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. When the workers of iniquity cause confusion, the people stop focusing on the criminals. Getting to the root to find a good solution or justice is no longer a priority. 
the people began to fight among themselves and lose sight of the enemy. A good example of the kingdom of darkness sending the spirit of confusion to distract the people is the pandemic. The man-made virus was leaked from a lab in China, according to mainstream media. This is well-documented reports from mainstream media and government agencies. This is not a conspiracy theory or me spreading misinformation. Mainstream media said to the public, the pandemic started in Wuhan from a lab leak. The scientists who were playing with the dangerous virus are not held accountable for endangering the whole world. Senator, with all due respect, I disagree with so many of the things that you've said. Gain, first of all, gain of function is a very nebulous term. We have spent, not us, but outside bodies, a considerable amount of effort to give a more precise definition to the type of research that is of concern that might lead to a dangerous situation. You are aware of that. That is called P3CO. We're aware that you deleted gain of function okay. from the NIH well, website. Well, I can get back to that in a moment if we have time. But let's get back to the operating framework and guide rails of which we operate under. And you have ignored them. The guidelines are very, very clear that you have to be dealing with a pathogen that clearly is shown and very likely to be highly transmissible in an uncontrollable way in humans and to have a high degree of morbidity and mortality and that you do experiments to enhance that hence the word e p p p enhanced pathogens of potemic but so when eco health pandemic, alliance took the virus well S -S -C -0 -C -0 and combined it with wiv1 and caused a recombinant virus that doesn't exist in nature and it made mice sicker mice that had humanized cells you're saying that that's not gain of function research according to the framework and guidelines so what you're doing is defining free. away gain of function no. you're simply saying it doesn't exist because you changed the definition on the nih website this is terrible and you're you're completely trying to escape right. the idea that we should do something about trying to prevent a pandemic from leaking from a lab there's the preponderance of evidence now points towards this coming from the lab and what you've done is change the definition right. on your website to try to cover your ass, basically. That's what you've done. You've changed the website right. to try to have a new definition that doesn't include the risky research that's going on. Until you admit that it's risky, we're not going to get anywhere. You have to admit that this research was risky. The NIH has now rebuked them. Your own agency has rebuked them. But that's, the thing is, is you're still unwilling to admit that they gained in function when they say they became sicker. They gained in lethality. It's a new virus. That's not gain of function. Instead of holding the mad scientists and diabolical leaders who fund the people who are playing with dangerous viruses that can kill many, the blame is shift to the unvaccinated. The privately owned mainstream media said, the unvaccinated are the problem and they are the reason the pandemic is not slowing down. The criminals who are responsible for this so-called pandemic are not held accountable. The kingdom of darkness caused the problems behind the scenes and the civilians who have no part in creating the problem are blamed. While the workers of iniquity who is carrying out Satan's agenda are not held accountable. The spirit of confusion is making the people fight among themselves. Nobody know who to assign at fault. The synagogue of Satan continue with their diabolical agendas undetected. The scripture said, we are fighting against spiritual wickedness in high places. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places the indigenous black people know how to fight in the flesh that is why they attack each other instead of the principalities and powers the scriptures speak of while the vaccinated and the unvaccinated are fighting among themselves because satan successfully shift the blame from the synagogue of satan unto the people they can move forward to the next step of getting the people to consent to unlawful mandates the synagogue of Satan will use the vaccinated against the unvaccinated to enforce the unlawful mandates. If the indigenous black people do not properly deal with the spirit of confusion, 
The spirit of confusion opens the door to the spirit of division. The kingdom of darkness have been using the spirit of confusion in mainstream media, social media, television, and politics to start chaos and to divide the people. The word of the Most High said, a kingdom that is divided cannot stand. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Satan used the people to destroy themselves. Today, unconstitutional mandates are lawful because the people are too busy fighting among themselves and ignoring the criminals. Millions have died from the negligence of the scientists and the leaders in high places. Because the criminals are from the seed of the serpent and high level members in the synagogue of Satan, nobody is going to jail or held accountable for the so-called pandemic. Confusion is what the kingdom of darkness used to cause chaos and shift blame. Before the unvaccinated were blamed for spreading the virus, mainstream media blamed black people first. The seed of the serpent say all men are created equal, but in their constitution, the indigenous black people are three-fifths human. Their religion declare their God love all people, but black people are the curse of Ham. Because black people are the curse of Ham, according to religion, the serpent seed have the right to treat black people poorly. By their fruits, you would know them. The serpent seed examined the indigenous people's every move. That is the reason they invade your spaces. How else are they going to know your weaknesses and daily routines if they don't observe you and befriend you? Witches and warlocks are best friends with their victims. Some are married to their victims. The indigenous people fail to properly assess the people who have stolen their lands and legacy. If they would do their due diligence, they would comprehend they live among their enemies. They would not welcome the serpent seed into their life. Because many indigenous people fail to do as the most high command of them, they are ignoring the serpent seed's past, forgiving their enemy, and poisoning their bloodline by procreating with the serpent seed. How long has it been since the serpent seed allowed the indigenous people to integrate into the beast system? Until this day, you are fighting for equality. Uniting with your enemies is not going to bring peace into your life. A rotten tree cannot produce good fruits. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. The serpent seed can only hide or suppress their wickedness for a short amount of time. After that, they must feed their urge to steal, kill, and destroy. The scripture said they are of their father, the devil. The apple never fall far from the tree. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. The serpent seed convinced the indigenous black people that they are fighting with them instead of against them. Every revolutionary movement black people has ever had was taken over by the serpent seed, or they assassinate the leader of the movement. The language of the kingdom of darkness is lies rooted in deception. You can't trust a word the serpent seed say because there is no truth in them. The scripture says Satan deceived the whole world as well as he is the father of lies. The kingdom of darkness is allergic to truth. For example, Despite of the overwhelming evidence proving the Messiah is not of European heritage, it does not stop the serpent seed from depicting the Messiah in their likeness. The serpent seed will do anything to hide truth so they can continue to falsify history to steal the legacy of the indigenous black people. In the B system's educational division, the students and the world are taught that an explorer from the seed of the serpent discovered the Americas. The workers of iniquity went as far as to set apart a day to celebrate the thief. Despite Christopher Columbus finding black indigenous people on the land when he arrived, they continue with the fairy tale of them discovering the new world. 
Israelites, it is important that you allow the spirit of the Most High reveal truth to you and tell you the things to come. Only the Holy Spirit can reveal the truth the synagogue of Satan is hiding from you. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. Once the Spirit of the Most High starts to open your eyes, you will begin to see what is hiding in plain sight. Satan has transferred the dominion given to the indigenous black people to the serpent seed. When Adam and Eve disobeyed the Most High and listened to the serpent, that is when they established a covenant with the kingdom of darkness, giving Satan access to the dominion the Most High gave to them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. If you allow the serpent seed to continue to teach you and your children your history, the generations to come will never know their bloodline and their legacy. The scripture said the Israelites discontinue from the heritage the Most High gave to them. The older generation are passing down man-made traditions to the next generations traditions such as religion and the pagan holidays. The cycle of passing down man-made traditions caused the Israelites to forget their heritage. And ye shall teach them your children, speaking of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house, and upon thy gates. When you don't know your history and where you come from, the serpent seed will write their own about you and give you a false identity. The identity that was given to the indigenous black people was an inferior legacy of curses and being good slaves to the serpent seed. It is important to know the root to every traditions you observe. Even the feast days the Most High said we must observe throughout our generations, Many Israelites are observing the set-apart days in error. They are following the serpent seed. And all the children of Israel will forget and will not find the path of the years and will forget the new moons and seasons and Sabbath and they will go wrong as to all the orders of the years. For I know and from henceforth will I declare it unto thee. And it is not of my own devising, for the book lies written before me and on the heavenly tablets the divisions of the days is ordained, lest they forget the feast of the covenant and walk according to the feast of the Gentiles after their error and after their ignorance. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. The scriptures did say the Israelites are following the traditions of men. It is important not to follow man-made traditions because every sacrifice the heathens and the serpent seed give to their gods, those sacrifices are made to devils and not to the Most High. Albeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. But I say, that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. In addition to following the traditions of men, the scriptures reveal to us that the synagogue of Satan conspired against the Israelites to help them forget their heritage. With the Israelites not knowing who they are for multiple generations, Satan was able to give the serpent seed the chosen people's heritage and legacy. Now that the people of the Most High are waking up, the real descendants of Jacob are taking back their bloodline and history. The imposters are doing everything in their power to refute all claims about themselves to hold on to the Israelite heritage. The serpent seed is censoring the voices of all Israelite channels that are helping in the awakening of the twelve tribes and the strangers that cleave. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, 
and the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Recently, I saw an ad on social media of the workers of iniquity proclaiming an awakening is happening on social media. The ad had pictures of the converts insinuating that the converts are waking up. When I saw the ad, I laughed and I said to myself, what are they waking up from? These are the same people that pride themselves on how righteous they are. In addition, these converts know their history. They proclaim they can trace their lineage to King David. If they have such knowledge about their history and can keep good records of their ancestry, what are they waking up from? Maybe they are waking up to the fact that they are of the synagogue of Satan. The Most High was showing me how the serpent seeds steal from the indigenous black people and reveal the subtle ways they are taking over the awakening. Remember, when they fight with you, their goal is to take over your movement to destroy it and shift the focus to themselves as if they are the ones oppressed. They are suppressing our voices and uplifting their voices to make it appear as if they are the ones waking up in large numbers. They fabricate their views and following to make it appear as if many among them are waking up. While they are falsifying their data, they are erasing views and subscriptions from channels like this to make it appear as if nobody is paying attention. This is how the serpent seed operates. I've had people ask me why you refer to us as indigenous, we are Israelites. The beast system has made the mixed children of the serpent seed and the native black people the faces to every land around the world. The beast system has convinced the original native black people that the octoroon, biracial, and the quadroon are indigenous people. The beast system defined indigenous as originating or occurring naturally in a particular place, a native. There is one group of people that are native to every single land on this earth, and that is the original people, black people that is made in the image of the Most High. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. Black people are the true natives of America, Africa, Europe, Australia, and everywhere around the world. Therefore, I will refer to black people as indigenous because that is what they are, natives. Do not let the beast culture, educational system deceive you. The slave trade was the scattering of the Israelites. Before the transatlantic slave trade, black people was living all over the world. Deception is the language of the kingdom of darkness. Remember the Tower of Babel? The first scattering of the people that are made in the image of the Most High happened after the Tower of Babel. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. The people they parade in our faces as indigenous are the mixed people with European ancestry and black ancestry. If you test their DNA, they are no different from what the world recognizes as biracial or quadroon or an octoroon. DNA does not lie. The life to all flesh is in the blood. For it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. You can't be a mixture of multiple bloodlines to be indigenous. Native means original. Mix does not equal to original or indigenous. What the world recognizes as indigenous are counterfeits. Now that you know to examine the people you live among because by their fruits you would know them, you also learn how the serpent seed erased the indigenous black people's legacy. In addition, you are aware that the language of the kingdom of darkness is deception. It is extremely important for the indigenous black people understand the spiritual aspects of life. The synagogue of Satan fight you in the spirit especially towards the end of the year during the pagan holiday season. During this time, 
The workers of iniquity are making sacrifices to their idols. There will be a lot of deaths, violence, and tragedy during that time. The demons require blood and the workers of iniquity must provide it. Satan has blinded the minds of many to the affairs of the spirit that many cannot see and they cannot understand. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. There are indigenous black people in the awakening that know how to pray. There are Israelites that know how to pray, fast, and cast out devils very well. Many of you have cast out devils unknowingly. The problem that many Israelites and indigenous black people suffer from is when the devil return. Most of you allow the unclean spirit to cohabitate with you through a lack of knowledge. Can you remember a time you fast and pray and you believe the most high delivered you and everything is starting to look up? And then out of nowhere, everything starts to fall apart. It's like taking 10 steps backwards. When this happened, many people become frustrated and give up. The scripture said when an unclean spirit comes out of a person, it stay in dry places looking for a place to rest. If it can't find none, it returns to where it was cast out of. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. When your life starts to fall apart after deliverance, that is the unclean spirit returning and bringing more devils to secure its house. Many indigenous people and Israelites believe because they repented and living a life that is pleasing to the most high in the physical realm, they can relax. What about your spirit in the spirit realm? Satan and the workers of iniquity did a phenomenal job in religion to never teach you about the spirit realm and spiritual warfare. Because many people lack knowledge about the spirit realm, they perish. Satan attack you in the spirit. The spirit realm is where everything that is going to take place in your life happens first. In the spirit realm is where many covenants are established. More than half of the scriptures are visions and dreams that was taking place in the spirit realm. The prophets write down what they saw to warn the future generations. For example, the book of Revelation is a vision seen by John. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Everything written in the book of Revelation is a vision seen by John in the spirit realm. Some of these prophecies are yet to be fulfilled. Listen to me when I tell you, everything happens in the spirit realm first. What you see in the physical realm, the flesh, is the manifestation. The Most High show you to warn you. If the Most High is allowing you to see certain events that are pending against your life, Yah is giving you the opportunity to change the outcome. Many of you are reestablishing the covenants with the unclean spirits that was successfully cast out in the spirit realm. That is why your life falls apart as soon as you begin to see progress. Satan know that many people know nothing about the spirit realm. He comes disguised as your friends or dead relatives to establish evil covenants with you. Once the covenant is established, the spirit of backwardness plague your life. Sometimes what you see in the spirit realm can take place swiftly or several years later, like Daniel who had multiple visions concerning the end times. Some of the evil covenants that were established years ago are now manifesting in your life. You must understand the spirit realm and shut down the kingdom of darkness there. If you don't, you will continue to go around in circles. You will continue to experience 
short-term deliverance. If you didn't understand why you take one step forward and out of nowhere you go backwards 10 steps, you are establishing evil covenants in the spirit realm with the kingdom of darkness. In addition to establishing evil covenants, the synagogue of Satan is attacking you in the spirit realm. The beast system is the kingdom of darkness dominion in the physical realm. The occult magic and pagan worship of holidays are ways the serpent seed initiate you into the beast culture and rob you of the destiny the most high set for your life. Witches and warlocks attack their victims in the spirit. A lot of indigenous black people fight in the flesh. That is why many remain defeated. You can't beat Satan fighting in the flesh. Fighting in the flesh is like Satan fighting against himself. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? While many people believe spiritual warfare or the things of the spirits are fairy tales, Satan has many people's spirits locking cages in the spirit realm. That is why they cannot explain the things they do. When you sense the person is demonically possessed, yes, they are being controlled by demons. The spirit realm is very real. Do not let Disney deceive you. The tales they tell are real. Rituals are a common practice in the beast system. Rituals are disguised as religious traditions in the beast system. The idols the workers of iniquity serve demand blood. If they don't meet their God's requirement, the workers of iniquity put their lives at risk. That is why the synagogue of Satan is constantly making sacrifices to their idols. Some indigenous black people who are aware of the affairs of the spirit, they use their wisdom for evil. They attack their own people. Israelites, stop letting the serpent seed seduce you with their seductive words. It is time for the indigenous black people to graduate to the things of the spirit. The moment the people of the Most High understand the things of the Spirit and correctly identify the people they live among, a major shift will take place. The indigenous Black people must allow the Most High to renew their minds. That is the only way they will begin to understand. Short-term deliverance will be a thing of the past. Israelites, the serpent seed, are strategic with everything they do. The indigenous black people must understand how the kingdom of darkness and the serpent seed operate to overcome spiritual wickedness in high places. The Most High gave you power over the kingdom of darkness. Don't be afraid to use that power. And he turned him unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them.